giving myself one week to build a god squad from scratch. We're not spending any money. We're not buying any coins. I'll be grinding solos, doing the gap pack method, every coin making method you can possibly imagine, and giving myself just seven days to do it. The clock starts now. We're starting from literally square one, creating a brand new account on Xbox Live. When I build this team, I'm gonna be trying to win a Super Bowl in one video, and if I lose that Super Bowl run, I'm giving this entire account away. So that means you can trade the players to your team, you can keep the coins, you can run with the account, you can do whatever you want. But I created a brand new account to ensure we start from scratch and that I can give it away if we do lose. I started up Ultimate Team and we immediately needed to get our coin stack working for us, so we grinded out the Super Bowl present solos. This was a lot harder than you'd think. Play with like a 60 overall bronze team, even in solo challenges, it's not an easy thing to do. We grinded through that, we got up to level 7, we also unlocked some coin rewards and some players along the way. Nothing major yet, but definitely some improvements to the team. Sunday and Monday were both pretty short days again. We got the Super Bowl present solos. We got ourselves up to 104,000 coins. And we got some small packs from Levels, a Pro Fantasy pack, and most importantly, Ed Reed, which enables us to intercept passes for our solo challenges. I'm grinding the solos on old gen, so we are able to do that interception, bug, glitch, whatever you want to call it. And then on Monday, it was pretty similar. We continued with the Super Bowl pass solos. We did the Team of the Year solos. Some more leveling up. We got a Superstar Fantasy pack, which is great. We got to pick one of these 89 overalls, and we ended up going with Tyron Smith to take care of our O-line. Anytime I get a free card, I like to take care of a position like O-line or defensive line or linebacker, something that I normally wouldn't want to spend coins on. So we also got some more level rewards, 10,000 coins here, 10,000 coins there. Our team was up to a 74 overall. It's starting to become usable, but still pretty unbearable. The most important unlock of Monday was getting this Percy Harvin, which was the first usable wide receiver with built-in abilities that we got in the game. This made solo challenges so much much easier to run that PA crossers play without having to worry about the CPU picking us off. We also got one gridiron pack from leveling up with really nothing of importance. And then after finishing the solos, we got another gridiron pack, which gave us a platinum card and an 87 overall. So now we're cooking. We're starting to get our coin stack built up and our levels are getting up there. So after the team of the year solos, we were up to level 18 with almost 300,000 coins in our pocket. Tuesday was the first really big day we had. We grinded all the way through Campus Heroes 2. We got to level 21, over 330,000 coins in total. And then we opened some of the packs that we had been earning from our solo challenges. I have four 86 plus Super Bowl players, three 85 plus Campus Heroes that we're gonna open. I'm gonna save the team of the year and the Campus Heroes NCAT at the end to see what we still need to fill out our team. Doing those solo challenges was actually really difficult with an 81 overall team. Bruce Irvin on the first pack, not terrible. We'll take that let's go to the next 86 plus here another super bowl player this is going to be with the lights we get 90 abukum we got lights on this one as well come on give me a big one 86 that's not what you want to see one more of these 86 plus overall super bowl players this is after doing the past and present solos lights again come on baby 86 cam gill so 286 is really not what we want to see let's hope of these 385 plus campus hero packs we can at least pull one full campus hero if this is 385 this is going to be a real bummer so we start off with an 85 LaRon Landry. I think we just need one to have made these worth it. 195 or even a 92, I think, is the other option. Amon Green as the opposite of what I want to see. That doesn't help at all. And our last one, please. 85 again. That makes that grind really, really stink. That was hours and hours, and we really did not get much return. After that, we sold off some cards. We had acquired, built some team builders to sell and get our coin stack up even higher. Instead of selling each card one by one individually, if I was able to build team builders with the cards that I had in my binder, that was definitely the best, most lucrative route to go. So you'll see that theme throughout the rest of this video. That's how I was making my coins. I wasn't selling cards individually. I was building team builders when and where I could. So we grinded through what playoff solos we could and ended the day around 400 thousand coins. This is all from solo challenges pretty much at this point. When Wednesday hit, problems arose. Unfortunately, I had to work. I had to do things. I was not able to play. We lost an entire day of team building and coin making. So we've got to bounce back. And that's why on Thursday, we hit the ground running. And this was by far and away our biggest day yet. 
Lots of the things sold from Wednesday, and so we hopped on and put in a lot of hours. We grinded through all the Gridiron Forge to get the free 95 DJ Reader. We upgraded our team and saw that we're an 85 overall. That's a big progression. Just three days ago, we were a 74 overall. Now we're an 85 on Thursday, but we still have a lot of stuff to do. So we reposted some team builders that didn't sell from Tuesday, and since so much new content had refreshed, we'd begun leveling up on the new level progression. This means we're unlocking new cards like Friar Muth, who's a tight end, which was huge because I had no tight end at all, at least no viable tight end. So this gave us coins, cards, and packs to continue to build team builders and post cards to the market. Then we did the Nick Scott playoff set, which we just about broke even on because he was a Ram and he was selling for around 270,000 coins. From this, we were able to keep a few Nat cards. So we kept Gilmore, Hollywood Brown, and Jermaine Pratt pretty much for free because of selling off Nick Scott. Then we did the same thing with the Aaron Donald set from Most Feared, which was a great opportunity to upgrade our horrifically bad offensive line without spending any coins just based on adding 490 overall end cat players and then the 394s from the Nick Scott set to our team. That's seven players without spending a single coin, which is insane. Next were the Black History Month solos and missions because cheap AP is so important on a budget team. So we went and added Lamar, LaDainian Tomlinson, and Kevin Byard. But in the end, after having to grind through all those stats in order to get the full versions of those cards, we only ended up completing our missions for Kevin Byard and Lamar Jackson. Thursday is still going. I told you. It was a big day. So next, we did the Aaron Donald super set and kept Ernest Jones, Trey Hendrickson, and Darius Williams, who's unfortunately short as hell, but our options were limited with this one, so short people matter still. Aaron Donald sold for 225,000 coins, so we lost a little bit of coins on this one, but we still got 395 overall cards for just over 25,000 coins, which is a hell of a steal. Next, we had some cards that weren't being used in our binders, so the best way to get rid of those was to, of course, build team builders. So we built team builder threes that had just been put in the game and we could sell those cards for about 110,000 coins. So we did that with the Steelers card and got back about 103,000 after tax. And now we've got a lot of bronzes from our base team that can go into this exchange set here. So we exchanged those and got a surprising amount of Nat Elite cards. It only promised gold or above and all of these came in at Elite. Now they are Nat, so we can't sell them, but they do go into sets. So we use them to build yep, you guessed it, even more team builders. I repeated this process over and over and built a few team builder twos as well as another team builder three and while we waited for these cards to sell we grinded out the rest of gridiron forge and we were rewarded with an elite pack that actually gave us an 86 jim kelly and a 92 mario addison with some other elites as well all these packs aren't giving us millions at a time it's not this massive jump but it adds up over time and that is the key it's quantity over time not just quality in this sense which brings us to friday the day I call so close, yet so far. We still haven't picked our team captain yet. I just realized this. Well, I'm in desperate need of a wide receiver. So after finishing some campaign solos, we added Lance Allworth to the team. And then through various solos, we were able to get his collectibles and add him to his set to get his full 96 overall version. Next, we built Deion Sanders in the same fashion as we did before and kept the Nat cards from his harvest set. Kenny Moore, Denzel Ward, Zadarius Smith. So now we're up to an 89 overall. This is a great team for like, November. Unfortunately, we still need to keep grinding. So Gridiron Guardians 2 solos have just dropped. Let's hop into those. Oh, and uh kill me because these solos suck. They were so horrible to grind. I was miserable every second of this, but we were able to complete them in the end, giving us some good rewards that will open here later. We also had some gold Nat cards to open from the campaign solos, which we were then able to put into some more team builders to sell, like this 88 overall DJ Moore. We ended the day with some more Gridiron Guardian solos because I like to inflict pain upon myself and then headed to bed before our last chance at any upgrades. Saturday, the final morning. Woke up like this, needed to empty the binder since it's our last day. And the longer time goes on, the more the market will crash because Ultimate Legends came out today. So let's get to it. We built some team builders where we could. We quick sold anything that was utterly worthless, like these power-ups or low golds, and waited for those cards to sell. During this time, we grinded through the missions for our Black History Month cards. This is where we got the final forms of Kevin Byard and Lamar Jackson. We completed the Roquan set to keep the Nat cards for free. We kept Preston Smith, Micah Hyde, Brian Burns, and Ryan. Ryan Jensen. And then we sold Roquan for 260,000 coins coming in at about net even. We also had some ornaments that we could use. So we built an end cap player, sold that one for training, and then opened an 85 plus and ended up just selling him on the market. We've got our coins, we've got our nats, and we've emptied out our binder. Now it's time to finish building this team. We still have 830,000 coins to spend and we're a 91 overall. I know we need a right tackle for sure. I think we still need a better cornerback. These guys are short. Darius, Darius Williams is short. Kenny Moore is 
short. Stephon Gilmore is slow. So we probably need a better cornerback. I'm happy with our pass rush. And I like that Kevin Byard is cheap AP. So maybe one more safety. Maybe. I do like Micah Hyde as well. He's kind of a beast. And we'll look at quarterback. But we've got a lot of coins to spend. Our offensive line is in good shape besides the right tackle. I like Larry Borum. I think he's about 90,000 coins. A 95 overall, 94 overall is good to put in that spot. And he's only 89,000 coins. So that's going to be our right tackle. As far as corners go, we need a dominant, taller, shut down corner. And I think this 96 Marshawn Lattimore is it. He's a little bit pricey, but we do have a decent bit of coins to spend. We're going to cop him for 244,000 coins. We need a really good running back. And I'm tempted to go with Cordero Patterson. He's on my Bears theme team. But in this game, there's something that matters just a little bit more than your ability to catch. That's your weight. Derrick Henry, 97 overall, 258,000 coins. Welcome to the team. I will not be using the Daniel Tomlinson, so I probably won't finish those Black History Month missions. Let's go ahead and start with the big money, the team of the year, NCAT. We get a choice of, I think, five cards here that are random. So hopefully we get something awesome from one of these. You guys would kill me if I chose a kicker from this pack, wouldn't you? Herbert's out. Whitworth's out. Cordero's out. We just got a running back. Hunter's out. Bose is out. It's between these two. Safety help, especially tall safety help, is always needed. I'm going to make the smart choice and go with Jeremy Chin. Our NCAT all-conference campus hero fantasy. I'm pretty sure we get a choice of literally any of the cards here. So I'm going to go with Jack Tatum. A little bit more safety depth. It's not a great pick. Kind of unfortunate there, but it's not the worst pick in the world. 92 overall, Gridiron Guardian 1. Literally never in my life you couldn't pay me money to pick this card. Really nothing. I mean, there's nothing great here. So this is probably training fodder. I'll give myself some more running back depth with Christian McCaffrey, but he really doesn't do much for our team. A 94 overall. This is from Gridiron Guardians 2. By the way, these solo challenges were absolutely hell on earth. I've already got four of these guys or three of these guys from when I did that pack already. DJ Moore is the fastest at 95 speed. Welcome to the team. You also might be training fodder. And lastly, our NCAT team builder three fantasy pack. I think this is from doing solo challenges, but I got this a couple days ago. We need to make the smart decision here. And this is to make up for that team of the year fantasy pack. We're actually going to end up going with an Oakland Raider. Sorry, uh, Vegas Raider. What a idiot the homie daniel carlson he's got 96 kick power and i'm using a bronze kicker at the moment we need a kicker guys daniel carlson's a beast i'm gonna hit generate best lineup here we're at doing 93 overall still with 200k to spend now i've got a few more cards to sell since we did update our lineup i could build team builders out of these probably and get maybe you know a better bang for buck but we basically reached our time limit so i'm just gonna go ahead and sell these cards for fairly cheap prices and kind of call it a day here everything's situated we still have 2,000 training and 260,000 coins i think we go after another cornerback or quarterback. Let's go look at both quarter and corner, see what we can get. I can get Gunslinger Joe Namath, who's got 92 speed to replace Lamar, who's got 95 speed. I've got to do it. Lamar will be our backup in case he's fatigued, like Lamar can scramble. And that's it. 1,600 coins left, 65 training. We built a 93 overall God Squad in just one week of playing Madden 22 Ultimate Team, technically six days. And this is the team. We look really good. Derrick Henry is amazing. Namath is amazing. Gunslinger Bruiser, Route Technician, Route Technician, Return Man, and Wide Receiver Apprentice. On defense, some powerhouse safeties. Really good pass rushers with Leonard Floyd, Trey Hendrickson, Preston Smith, Marshawn Lattimore, a beast at corner. We've got Acrobat, 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 Pick Artist in mid zone, Instant Rebate, Edge Threat, Double or Nothing, and One Step Ahead, Mid Zone, and Under Pressure. Now, remember our next video, we're playing through an entire season to see if we can win a Super Bowl. And if I lose, I'm going to give this account away for you to do with it whatever you want.